That is what I'm talking about. Beautiful, thick northern Wisconsin goldies right there. Oh, he was just right there. He was just right there. Oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. What is going on guys? Today we are back with another video. We are out here, we are on the ice, we are doing some ice fishing. It's me, we got Mitchell with, and uh, we're gonna be fishing for some of the old fashioned whatever bite types of pattern. And uh, just some good old Northern Wisconsin, whatever happens to bite my hook, I'm gonna catch this afternoon and into the evening. So super sunny out all day. Then we had big storm squall, it's supposed to snow like three to six inches or something like that this afternoon. So we kind of got a little bit ahead of you guys set up a bunch of the the shack already drilled a bunch of holes we're going to get mitchell going inside with the underwater camera this is a spot where you could see walleye you could see pike you could see smallmouth you could see perch you could see almost anything could swim through a spot like this and a lot of times that's a big basin and then your biggest spot in that basin a lot of times just big multi-species whatever happens to be there can be there on that given day so um, hopefully, yeah, predictions. Hopefully we get some sweet underwater footage of Mitchell probably catching whatever bites out of jig rod. And I'm gonna be and I'm gonna be kind of fishing outside, fishing for just hole hop and running a few tip-ups. So just kind of got everything rocking and rolling and uh, stay tuned. It should be a halfway decent video as long as we catch a halfway few amount of decent fish. And uh, it's northern Wisconsin, so we're not anticipating like sky high. We're kind of taking it down just a couple steps to like right there. So Stay tuned, let's get it going on. Let's get Mitchell in the shack, jigging some fish, and we'll see you guys when some fish start coming into the camera. No, this is the first fish I've had to even come close, and he just, yeah, he wasn't interested at all. Oh, there we go. There we go. Come on. Got him. <laughs> oh my gosh, is that awesome? What a cool shot of that fish. I, I feel like that was the one that I just saw and he was kind of off camera. Oh my gosh. Good. Solid, solid fish here. <laughs> a little tangled up, of course. But yeah, this spot that we're fishing tonight. I expect to catch more of these than walleyes, but hopefully we'll get the occasional walleye or two in the mix, but look at that, solid fish. Using this light action rod, honestly it's so much fun. <laughs> it might be more fun than catching a walleye, I don't know, don't tell Tom though. Alright, there we go, there's one coming in low, come on, come on. Oh my gosh, this one looks so promising. Nice walleye too, come on here. Idea. I gotta switch out. Gosh, a nice walleye comes in and I have the wrong bait on. Not having that. Let's see if I can. This little spoon here, tip of the minnow tail. Let's see if I can get it done. All right, guys, first flag of the afternoon. Mitchell's in the shack. I know he just caught a nice smallie, I believe. And the first beaver dam is up. Is there a fish on it, though? That is the question. Got him right there. Ooh. Ooh. It's feeling pretty nice, whatever it is. What do we got? Oh, come on, big walleye. Come on, big walleye. What we don't want is big pike. What do we got, though? Ooh. Whatever it is, he's running a little bit of line out. It's going to be the total multi-species grab bag kind of a spot here. Oh, we got the only thing we weren't too excited about, Northern Pike. And of course he broke off eight pound right at the hole, but there we go. It's a start catching a few different species right off the bat here. Smallmouth right away and the Northern Pike. All right. Got him. Hooked up. Fish on, on the tip up here. Feeling walleye-ish. But it could also be a big smallie. I don't know. 
Oh man, it is a big old smallmouth. <laughs> Look at that guy. Wow. That is definitely one of the fish we're here for, for sure. Oh man. Look how tall and perky that guy is. Oh, Mitchell's in the shack watching him swim by. I think he caught one or something like that. And uh, where's he got this thing hooked? Just right in the bottom corner here. We'll get him popped off quick, but that is cool. That is fine with me catching these big guys through the ice like that. And hopefully we get, like we were kind of talking about in the intro, a little bit of everything out here today. We'll get you popped off real quick, buddy. That is a real nice bass, and he just ate just a normal sized kind of walleye minnow. Where do I got the hook? There we go. And he's off. In good shape. Look at that guy. We'll take them all afternoon, evening, night long like that. So cool catching these big guys through the ice. There he goes. Back for more. Let's get it baited up and I'll keep running the old tip-up program out here. something I did I don't know if I just wasn't banging it hard enough he's still there seriously come on come on oh what a cool shot nice fish wow that sucks I can't help but think it was just me on that one right there Fish on Mitchell. Oh, Mitchell's just packing up to leave at prime time. And I got my, my first jig fish of the day here. Feels pretty solid. Not sure what we got going on here. Fish just rifled up the ground. Oh, nice walleye right there. On the jig rod. That is what we're out here for right there. Super nice fish. Super nice fish. Look at that right there. That is what I'm talking about. Beautiful thick northern wisconsin goldies right there and that i absolutely love these guys just uh kind of hopefully entering that prime time hour and uh fish just rifled up the graph and bit look at that it's about as pretty as it gets right there let's let that guy go and i was just sitting there pounding that thing and uh just fishing the old tried and true clearwater killer the acme rattle master eighth ounce and kind of that purple descent real image color i absolutely love that little combo in clear water especially right at prime time and i'm gonna get baited back up and hopefully catch a few more as these fish start eating a little better right there fish on well since mitchell left we've uh definitely seen an increase in fish jigging what do we got oh not a big guy but a nice guy <laughs> There we go, another nice walleye right there. And uh, that was the same thing. You know, I'm not marking a ton of fish, but when I am, they're just shooting up, biting, there we go. Well, you know, 15 and a half inch Northwoods walleye right there. We'll take them all. So now I'm sitting in the shack, hoping uh, a few more of these guys come in. Maybe a couple tip-ups, I got two tip-ups out. But the bite has seemingly been, as far as the walleyes go, jigging so far. We'll let that guy go. And I'm actually marking another fish right now. Actually marking another one. Does Mitchell have any minnows in here? He's got a frozen one, but that might work. That might work. And a lot of times these your whole day walleye fishing on a lot of these, you know, smaller, clear natural lakes can come all down to these little feeding windows early in the morning and then right at the end of the day too. And get right back down there and back to pounding. Oh my gosh. Did you guys see that? Literally just let that last fish go. Turn the camera back on. Started dropping down. And another nice, I'm assuming this is going to be a really nice walleye here. Oh yeah, it's a nice one. 
And oh my gosh, am I tangled up. Come on, come on, come on, there we go. Oh my gosh, is this a nice fish? Is this a nice fish? He's just folding up the 44 inch light. Oh, this is a good one. This is one of the bigger ones I've tried jigged in Wisconsin so far this year. Real nice and easy by the hole here, buddy. Oh, he was just right there. He was just right there. Oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Just chomp that thing too. Look at that. Well, the afternoon into the evening bite has certainly been worth it here. I don't even want to waste any time because it seems like they're coming through so quick now. Look at that. Big, long, fat, beautiful northern Wisconsin walleye right there. And that spoon is gone. And I actually, normally after every fish catch, I restart the camera. And I just restarted the camera after I caught that last, you know, 15, 16 incher. And uh, dropped back down as I was dropping, this mark shot up and I tried to race the bait away from him while I was turning the camera back on. Race the bait away and then I dropped back down to him. Kind of to try to play it out, see if I could get the bite on film. And as I was dropping it, that fish smacked it. Oh, that makes the whole day worth it. When uh, you kind of capitalize on these sweet bites, you know, right at the end of the day like this. A lot of times you work all day to kind of find that pile of fish. But right at dark, you can get into them and have some success. And there we go. That is so rewarding. We got any more dead frozen minnows in here? That is so rewarding. Especially in these lakes that are not filled with walleyes and where they're very stingy and tough to get them to bite. Oh, eat it, eat it. Oh, <laughs> we got another one. It's actually heating up now. Oh, get the deucer out right away this time. Wow. All right, that one, just same thing. It actually fluttered on the bottom for a second and then just, oh, it's another nice one. It's another nice one. Oh, you guys see that down there? <laughs> see if I can show you guys. Oh, come on, don't do that. Come up the hole. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> we are having some fun now. Oh man, and when they come in, they're just, these bigger fish are just rocket shipping up. That one was just hooked right in the beak. There we go, look at that. Wow. Another super nice walleye. Well, this day has really picked up now, now that it's dark out. And we are having some fun. I mean, even just this many fish. Pretty good afternoon, evening of jig fishing, honestly. And I love the fact they're all coming on the jig rod. That is just too awesome. Look at that guy. Absolutely love it. Let's let him go. Let's let him go. See you later, buddy. And he's just going to bolt. I love it. Clear water walleyes through the ice on the jig stick absolutely love it when those fish are doing those big pump head shakes at the hole who's calling me oh somebody else is calling me we'll answer them in a second having this 42 or this 44 inch light action rod absolutely love it for small spoon fish and you lose so many of the fish at the hole with a rod that doesn't load and buckle up real nice well let's give it a little bit see if we get another one i guess right all right well it's been uh probably 30 minutes since we've seen another fish and uh, that's just a lot of times these kind of quick snappy end of the day type bites you know if you waited out long enough you'll probably get another crack at some fish but you know we for being out here i think we were out here for two hours maybe two and a half hours something like that late in the day caught some nice walleyes caught uh what else did we catch i guess we lost the pike at a hole i forget what mitchell even caught i caught another nice smallmouth hopefully mitch got some good underwater footage just sw fish swimming by and uh, yeah, definitely that evening right at the last light bite was kind of the deal. So we got the otter all folded up. We got to throw some camera stuff back in the thing, start the snowmobile, hook up to the snowmobile, drive back to the launch, load up, get home and do some editing tonight. But uh, appreciate you guys watching this video. We actually filmed two videos today. The first one was the last crappie one you guys watched. Then uh, this afternoon we got out here and did this little multi-species whatever kind of video. So. I think the plan is I'd like to come back out to the spot in the morning and uh, kind of see what it's all about. Um, I'm assuming we'll jig 
some more fish in the morning hopefully get some better underwater footage because we only had the underwater camera down for a little bit and then it just kind of got too dark and i hate using the too much light down there on the camera because it just seems to kind of push fish away a lot but um fun little quick afternoon evening little bite out here and i uh, appreciate you guys watching this one if you guys are not yet please subscribe to this channel stay tuned for more ice fishing content we'll see you guys next time <laughs>